Okay, so we've got this hedge. Um, I'm gonna be doing today. It'll take me a few hours, uh, and then we've got a hedge over there as well. You can see. Um, so I've done this hedge once already last September. Um, and it's like mid July, and it's surprising how quickly it has grown. It's one of these hedges where it's actually, like, you wouldn't think it's difficult to cut, but it is. Even high end petrol hedge struggle with it. I don't know why, I don't know if it's just the texture. I don't, so yeah, we basically cut up to this point. Obviously, remove that because they're not, they're just not supposed to be there, they're like saplings, really. Just cut them down, cut it behind the sign front obviously top and then there's a bit the other side but it's not really that full um and then we've got a hedge over near the house because this is more of like along the driveway front so we've got a hedge over there which is it's a mixture of conifer like leylandi and then some purple one and then it also has ivy mixed in as well so the conifer hasn't really grown loads really a few little pieces but it's just mainly the purple stuff you can see which just needs to be trimmed back again just to the nice normal regular shape um this this thing i did do last year but considering that was december not december september at the time the thing already the plant already finished flowering and it had a lot more growth, mainly on the top. This part hasn't really done much. It's only really grown a bit more around like the edges and stuff. So I'm not, I don't really think I will trim it much. Maybe a little bit, because it's got flowers on, you don't want to cut them all off. They'll probably be finished in about a month anyway. It's nice little wild flower thing here. So yeah, I've got all my tools, got the cordless power base blower, I don't know if you've really seen that much, probably not, 20 volt cordless blower, it's fine for small jobs and if you're not using it for too long or anything, you know, a lot of leaves because it's not that powerful for that, but it's pretty powerful for like blowing grass off paths and stuff from like streaming or whatever, enough power for that but not anything, I wouldn't, you know, use it anything more than that. That's the long reach hedge trimmer. This is fine for just general pruning and obviously long reach. It's not, it's the same 20 volt power battery range from home base, power base. It's not really powerful enough for like big, you know, heavy, like thick stuff. It just won't power through it. Uh, it's only 41 centimeter blade, so it's not that long either. But when you've extended it, it it's fine. It extends to I think 2.6 meters long, so it's long enough for most things. It gets up, gets up there to that one. Uh, we've got the steel um, helmet visor ear defender combo thing, which is I don't use as much. I only use it for when you've got tall hedges and you're gonna have stuff falling down on top of you. So I use that to prevent it falling directly on my face, especially like conifer because it's all little prickly bits so got that we've got the honda uh a 36 volt cordless hedge trimmer 24 inch blade 36 volt power all that but the 9 amp battery even though that makes it weigh a ton but because i know i'm going to be here for like at least about four hours i obviously want to make sure it lasts that long it should be more than enough really but yeah that should be fine and this is the most powerful hedge trimmer that i've well got in battery um so that should be fine that'll be for just like this hedge and as much as i can reach really uh got this uh large leaf rake um and then we got a spear and jackson um grabber things which would be for picking up all the hedge trimmings put into the bin customers uh waste bag ton bag and then a brown bin um so yeah, enough talking. I will now be on to filming. So I'm gonna start by just doing this front, work my way down, 
until I get to the end where the sign is and then I will probably start and I'll probably work on this part maybe or I'll start on the top whichever way I'll do it then that's how you'll see so I'll set the camera up tripod probably just past that lamppost and um
Okay, so that's uh, this hedge done. So I've done front, right front part, obviously, as you would have saw in in the video. Um, uh, yeah, so front, as you would have seen in the video, and now I've done the top. I didn't film all of it because I didn't want, you know, just to film every single part of it being cut. Um, yeah, done all this, done the top, and um, done the other side as well. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, that's this done. I was trying to get into 0 0.5, but it doesn't seem to want to work to get a wider view. Um, yeah, this side, there isn't really much hedge on this side, so it's more just cutting a few saplings and bits from the bottom. And obviously, you get a few bits on the top and stuff. Um, this part was done. There was a point about 10 minutes ago where it was just, it was sunny, it was all normal. And out of nowhere, it was just torrential rain, so everything was getting soaked. But it was fine here because I was under the tree. Um, I just had to grab my stuff. I didn't, you know, because this cheaper stuff isn't waterproof. I didn't want it to break because I just left it out in the rain. But luckily, it only lasted for a few minutes, so. So that's that one, this hedge done. Yeah, I didn't trim that because it doesn't really need it. And I think a lot of that died probably in the winter, I'm assuming. Because it should all be full now. And it's got flowers on anyway, so. So I've done that. It probably took me about two hours, which I thought it would take a couple hours done that. And now probably, I'm guessing, another hour and a half or so doing that. And obviously that includes clearing up as well. And, you know, moving your stuff over. So it's just doing this one now, which, like I said before, the conifer hasn't it really grown loads it's more of all this purple um stuff and obviously the ivy that's all here and you know whatever else is in there as well but it's mainly mainly that because you know as you can see the conifer hasn't you know really grown much if it was just, if it was just pure conifer and none of this purple stuff or and ivy, it, you wouldn't really need to trim it. Maybe a few little bits at the top. But apart from that, you wouldn't really need to trim it. It's just all this purple one, which grows a lot quicker. So, yeah, it would just be this, and then that should be it. Um, and, yeah, I'll film some of it. I just only want to get it, so... Because I want this video to only be about the Honda Hedge Trimmer. And not about you know the, everything else. So I only want to get fish of that one over you know the long peach and stuff because that's not the point of the video. If you want the video to be about a certain thing like this, I don't want to watch half an hour of you know using another tool which isn't relevant you know to it because you want to see how this performs, not how that blower performs or that one you just want to see this and you don't want to see a whole two hours worth of this trim in the head you want to see like bits so yeah on to the next one is there a couple minutes just to move my stuff over to there so i have to keep going back and forth but then yeah i should be started so then at least the next five minutes i should on the next one so let's see you then
So it's the end of the video. The hedge is all done, both sides all cleaned up. So this hedge trimmer, it performed pretty well on doing the bits that that was used on. It's been going for quite a few hours and it's still got like 80%, 70, 80%. So yeah, pretty good hedge trimmer. Only thing I would say, like I've said before, is the weight. Even with the six amp battery, it's still heavy. So, proves of the weight, but apart from that, hedge trimmer is a great tool. So, that's the end of this video. Enjoy. Bye.